And so, I guess, Ron, is there going to be a lower cost of capital from tokenized securities? Is that one of the key benefits um, of this digital infrastructure that Ruth describes? If they are just similar to normal regular securities, why don't we just continue with the tried and tested method of issuance? Um, I would say that the old traditional way will stay and the ICOs is basically was very good promoter to say even a private individual can invest a very significant amount in a very direct way. The due diligence process is just an online process and once you adopt the regulations, the local regulations and also the cross-border investment, uh, this is a very good new way to finance projects. So more liquidity, more global securities in a world of deglobalization, I suppose. Absolutely. Actually, it could become uh, what, what blockchain is open and is uh, very different from other technologies is open new question. Uh, it changes the perception of what is the money, what is the security. And uh, actually, it's allowed to reshape or re-asking uh, how trading or how people can transact uh, 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 the assets of the world or maybe even to change the business model of, uh, of an asset banks one is doing in the real estate. Uh, this is the old market that actually uh, haven't been changed for 3,000 years now. And blockchain is now allowing to be asked uh, if, if this is a good business model or not. Liquidity. Um, so, Ron, um, sorry, Tal. Ron. <laughs> yes. Participation, another problem. Um, so, assuming we solve for KYC, AML, and crypto can be invested in the securities and that value can be released. It seems like some in the industry believe that everyone can then participate in these securities exchanges and everyone can buy financial assets. But do we really think that retail investors can just, under the current regulation, go ahead and buy whatever financial assets they want, even if they're structured products and derivatives, or are the regulations and restrictions around that that we need to bear in mind? How are you going to solve for these things? First of all, this is uh, um, tokenization is is pretty big challenge. Um, I agree with all my colleagues here, but I I also can add that um, when you go uh, to take care of the regulation, you need to see the entire view. So at first, at Banks One, we say let's speak with the regulators first because each one of the jurisdictions taking care of the local jurisdiction regulations. It doesn't matter if you are primary or secondary market, if you are retail investors or accredited investors or institutional, each one of the entities have different regulation. And once you become a 24-7 worldwide exchange, this means a lot. And it began actually with the encapsulation of the security. It's not at the end of the primary or the secondary. This is the result. Um, so what we've been doing in Banks One, we took the entire mapping of all the regulation. It doesn't matter which entity are you. And, and we encoded it in a code, in the security itself. Uh, this means that the regulators we need to sit down together as a worldwide regulations entity and to see if there is any breaches. Uh, this is a new world that is born and the regulators, as you see, this is not like the entity that adopt technology so fast. They should and have to protect their uh, local investors and the local interests. Uh, so we actually gave them the God's eye. We called it the God's eye. This is a dashboard. This is the first time of the world that the investors and the regulators can see the entire process. Uh, so each one of the illegal uh, transaction will be blocked automatically and will be the governments will get the notification. You can see there is a linkage of, of uh, illegal activity within our platform. Sure. So again, to your question, 
This is starting from the encapsulation. This is a blended infrastructure that is all go back to regulations and, and incentive for even uh, institutional investors to join in because this is a whole new play. Even institutions have regulations of how much uh, assets of real estate, for example, they can invest and, and, and banks also in this game. Uh, so un until retail investors will adopt this kind of play, uh, I, I, th I think it will take time. Um, we take care of it with funds, so funds can invest for you, and you can basically solicit uh, directly uh, to the investors, and, and the activity will go to, to the fund and to proxy investors. Sure. I want to ask one final question to Tomo, which is moving away.